Okay. Okay. Uh, this is my thrift store pickup. And I've been buying jewelry at the thrift stores. And sometimes Marie likes what I get. And sometimes she doesn't. So I'll start with the non-jewelry stuff. Um, see this? Hops and hoops. I'm doing it in my basement. Because I'm home. It's dark. Um, Widmere Brothers Brewing. I found one of these online uh, where they're selling it for 15 I think they're selling for like $10 with something like 15 shipping, but it comes out, or maybe it's 15 with $10 shipping. It comes out to 25 I got 16 of these for, I was half price day, so I paid like 85 cents a piece. I'll just round it up to a dollar. So I got 16 for $16. I plan to do these in lots of two for between 40 and $45 and then let them sit. And I'll do a, a quantity listing, uh, multiply it now. So at 16, eight times... It, okay, say I sell it for 40 bucks, right? Say, say I sell these for 40 bucks. And say shipping is 15. That leaves 25. And say five for eBay fees, something like that. I'm just going to average it out at like where I make 20 bucks a pop. So at eight times 20 is 160. I'll even round down a little bit. Uh, 150. 150 bucks, and I spent. And obviously, I'm not selling this all tomorrow. But 150 bucks is what I think, when all is said and done, I will get out of these glasses. All right. This is stupid flea market stuff. AJ uh, picked some up, but then he didn't want it. So, uh, like, he didn't really want this for some reason. Here's a Groot. I don't think this is a big deal, Groot. It looks cheaply made. But even if it's only worth a few dollars, uh, I paid, uh, what did I pay for that? I think it was a buck. I think it was like a buck fifty because it was like two dollars and something. Uh, half. Oh, uh, I don't know. Did I say everything was half price? It was like half price app. So say it was say it was two forty nine. So I paid a buck twenty five for these figures. Uh, not gonna get rich, but we're talking like anywhere from four dollars to about let's say two to six, eight dollars or something. So this is this is just a little nonsensical stuff that I that I bought because I was there. This looks like Brother Bear. All right, um, this vase intrigued me, and actually, it's not a vase. I'm not really sure on the age of this, but it's very interesting. It's got a nice. You know what? Let me see if I can. I didn't peel this off while I was there, so let's see if the bottom tells me anything. Like, if there's a Made in China sticker on it. Now, the cork is very new. No, the, the bottom doesn't tell me anything. This cork is very new. I don't believe this cork is original to it. I think it might be a replacement. Look at the seam. That's an unusual and older way to make glass. The swirl of the glass, so it's like a slag end of the day glass. Um, I think I see somewhere on the bottom... Unless that's sticker residue. I think it might be like a barbershop bottle. And, and this also confuses me. Like, that doesn't seem like something people would do now. I think it's hand-blown. You can actually, okay. You can actually, okay, this is not junk glass. Because there's a, there's a, here, let me just. When I do this, there's, there's a, a nook in there where the glass met glass. This could be really good. Um, the seam is one clue to me that the glass is good. Uh, it is end of the day, I believe. These look like popped. Let me see if I get that right. I think these are pop surface bubbles, not not like little uh, chips. See where my thumb is, right there. Okay, I don't know if you see that. Um, I got to take this off and look inside the bottle later and just see if that tells me. Anything. Okay, now the jewelry. Now, when it comes to jewelry, like I've done well, and then I also get stuff that Marie doesn't like. So this time. I probably spent more on the jewelry than anything else. This was like, let's see. So this was like $2 and, and something change. $16. So I paid like 20 for everything else, but I paid 85 for everything. So I probably spent like 50 or 60 for this stuff. Let me go through the stuff that Marie doesn't like at all, right? She's like, she doesn't care what I do with it. And some of the stuff I bought basically as just to put on at the flea market, right? Okay. This actually feels kind of like cheap, right? But I thought it looked pretty. Now at half price, I paid $3.50. I'm assuming I can get, I don't know, like five to 10 at a flea market. But what I'm gonna do is, 
We're opening the store. I'm going to put some cheap junk jewelry in the store for the ladies. And also in case people say, oh, you buy jewelry. Um, this is also new. But it's like huge and flashy. Now, this was half price at $14.99. So it was like $7.50. Um, so it, it's basically like a knock. It's like a knockoff of like um, like Native American designs. These are not turquoise stones or whatever. But I thought Marie might want to put it on one of the neck forms. And it would be flashy enough for her to sell. But she was not impressed. So I said, oh, I'll either put it in the store or take it to the Medlands and sell it. So she did not like that for herself. She would have not bought that at that price. Um, this... I thought she might like. Okay, this I thought she might like because it was hearts. But if you carefully inspect, there's like a little bit of wear here or there to some of the gold. And that uh, did not impress her. <laughs> so this I only paid like $4 for, right? So I thought it's cool. If she doesn't like this, I will again. I'll take that to the flea market or the store. This I thought she would like for sure. But there's a thing over here where she thinks – let me focus on it. Marie thinks that's a mistake that – because it does all the other eyes go through, right? On This is tax go silver, right? I'm probably going to put this on eBay. Let's see, it's T – TV? It's either TV or TU. 58. Mexico. Con more contemporary tax go, like post 70s. Um, but she doesn't like. Every, all the other fish have one eye, which you can see. This fish has what looks like two eyes. But she, since it didn't go through, where is it? Oh, here. She thinks it was a mistake. So I'm just going to list it. On eBay, most likely. Uh, this I thought she would like just because it was it was so cheap. It's like a buck fifty, and it's kind of cool. It's like hearts and rhinestones. So I know sometimes she likes hearts, but she, again, she was not impressed with this. There seems to be a star in the back or some kind of mark. I don't know. And then this, she said, "Oh, this is cheaply made, blah blah blah." But it was like six bucks, and it's it's a necklace with matching earrings. And I thought it was pretty. Let me see. So she is not impressed with this. So this is something that I will probably put in the shop if she doesn't want to do it for the flea market. All right. Now, this is the stuff that she thought was okay, right? But she said these she only sells for like four bucks. Now, I thought because it was bigger, she could get more. So this one I paid about three fifty. So... That's like, she maybe make a dollar on or something like that. But I think she's willing to take that to the flea market because she liked it. All right. This one. Let me see if I can get that. Let me see. This is, this one was signed Napier. So I was like, oh, okay, I'll just buy it. Now they do make new Napier. She just wasn't impressed with this one. But she's like. There's a possibility this could go online. So, so that's a flea. Um, this one, I thought she thought was pretty. So she, she she chose that one. And this is just glass and like multifaceted beads. And $7.99. She'll probably sell this for like $10. Bucks, right? um, this is a J. Crew, I believe. Yeah. And it's like blue, like a denim almost. Kind of like, uh, there's a name for these stones, like re, whatever, uh, re, Ripoli, Rivoli, something like that. Ripoli, maybe. Um, J. Crew. I mean, it's the shape of the stone that the name is for. The way my fingers look so dry. That's from the cold being outside. There it is, J. Crew. It shouldn't be too valuable. What did I pay for it? Three bucks. So even if she gets eight or ten. You know, uh, this one I believe is also a J. Crew. But she looked this one up and she said, "Okay, this is priced at fourteen, so I paid seven fifty, fourteen ninety nine. And I thought she would like this because see all the rhinestones, how sparkly they are. But and how they're set, I thought it was pretty cool. 
But shit, shit, look at this. Let me see if I can get it. I'm trying to, it's making like a disco effect on the wall. It just, it's getting a disco ball effect. Ah, who cares? Um, they're, they're really sparkly. And this is also J. Crew, but she said she found it online. Somebody selling it for like 15 bucks or something, like with shipping, 15. So this isn't a big deal. So, but she probably would take that for the flea market because it's pretty. So this is what she likes. And then this is the most interesting out of all of them. Uh, this appears to be, this pin's very old. I only paid three bucks for this pin. Okay. Um, but it's like, I don't think, or I can't tell if it's silver or silver plate. I'm assuming it's it's some kind of silver plate. Obviously, there's no maker's mark on it, but it has, and I guess that's an elk. What's that right there? That's the, the stock of the gun. No, that's probably just wear it to this. It's silver plate for sure. Uh, it would probably go to a magnet if I held. So there, it's got a rifle. See? And it has acorns. Some kind of... I don't know what they call those leaves. And it looks like it has some kind of elk. This one by itself, in my opinion, should be $25 and up on eBay. Even the back is well made. That would be nice. Look at how, look how they put that in there. Yeah, this is the most interesting. So in my opinion, that's like a $25 pin, right? This $10, say, so that's $35. This, I'll just say for $39. This, I'm just going to say $10, but it could be more. She has to look this up. That's $49. Could be more, though. This, even if it's $10, $59. Even if it's $10, $69. Uh, this, say, I'll say $4. Uh, so 73 this, I'll say $10, 83 This, I'll say $8, I'll just say 90 This, I'll say $10, just to be say it's cheap, you know. So that's 100 right? This, I'll say $8, 108 So what I say? I spent like maybe 60 bucks, 108 And this has got to be, in my opinion, no less than 25 right? But I'm going to say uh, 30 so what I say, a 90, I don't know, about 120 bucks. So yeah, maybe a double my money situation, maybe more. Because I'm actually going to make this more. And some of these could be more. So overall, even though she isn't really happy with what I got, eh, I'm safe. So anyway, that's everything I got uh, today. It wasn't even a normal shopping today. I just went to the thrift store and I just went and started buying stuff. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, AJ and I are probably going to be at the Meadowlands on Saturday. Just, just if anybody's interested. Otherwise, I'm out of here. Bye.